Have you been thinking about moving to Mansfield, Texas? In this video, we're gonna take a look at everything there is to know about Mansfield, Texas from a bird's eye view. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stay tuned. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker here with On Track Realty. If you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Dallas, Texas, or any one of its many suburbs, be sure and hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell. We have been in the business since 2007, helping buyers and sellers just like you, and we absolutely love it. We're also a family brokerage. So if you like the idea of our family helping yours, you can scroll on down in that description section and you'll find the Let's Find Home questionnaire that you can fill out. You know, or you're welcome to call us or drop us a text or send us an email. Here's the thing, we found our home in Dallas, Texas and we'd love the chance to help you find yours. But okay, so today, I told you we were gonna take a look at Mansfield from a bird's eye view, so let's get to it. Okay, so here we have Mansfield, Texas showing you the big picture view. You can see Fort Worth here and Dallas here, and down here is Mansfield. So Mansfield is southeast of Fort Worth and southwest of Dallas. So it kind of gives you that big picture view. You're talking about the southern sector. Scroll in a little bit here. As you can see, Mansfield is surrounded over here by you've got Midlothian and Grand Prairie. Uh, it's to the south of Arlington. And then over here you have Rendon Kennedale. And here up here you have the Fort Worth area. So I know commute times are important to a lot of you. So let's take a look at some commute times. Okay, so here we have Mansfield, Texas, of course, downtown Dallas. It's gonna be right around like a 35 minute drive. So, you know, here you have downtown Dallas. Uh, you've got a couple of different ways you can go. You could take I-30, and you could go all the way to 360, or you could come down the George W. Bush Tollway and then go over. So your two options here are that you can go on down straight to 360, but just know that this isn't a tollway and it can be really congested or you could come right here and go down the George W. Bush, which is pretty fast, and then cut over. But either way, you're gonna find yourself to Mansfield. Mansfield, there we are, so there's Mansfield. All right, so either way, 36 minutes, kinda of depending on where you are in Mansfield. This part of 360 is a tollway, but this part isn't. All right, so if you were coming from downtown Fort Worth, okay, you would take 287. Okay, it's depending in 287, it's gonna come all the way through Fort Worth, or through Mansfield, sorry, so that really just depends, but it's gonna get you there if you're coming from Fort Worth. So what kind of commute are we talking with that? We're talking about a 22 minute commute. All right, how about what's up next? Ah, the AT&T Stadium. Well, this is really important for a lot of people because you've got the, the Texas Rangers and football, just a real hub here of entertainment. So where's that gonna be? Well, you would probably go straight up 360. It's gonna be right in here, okay? So straight up 360 to get to all the action at the AT&T Stadium, Texas Rangers, Texas Live, real happening place there. Okay, how about ah the airport? So let's just say you have to commute, you have to travel with work. Basically, you're just gonna go straight up here, a straight shot, super easy, and boom, there you are. Okay, so easy trek to the airport, other than the fact that, again, this little section of 360 can be pretty congested. All right, let's see here now. Okay, the Legacy Central Business Park in Plano. That is way, way up here, far north. I include that on there just because it's a big uh, working place, big business hub, but that's gonna be like almost an hour drive. So probably if you're looking at working in Plano, Mansfield is probably gonna be a bit of a trek for you and you may not wanna do that. So, all right, how about the Las Colinas Business Center? Okay, well, we're gonna find that right here and it's gonna be a straight shot from 161. So you could go, you know, 161, then over and then down. So anything on 161, the George W. Bush Tollway, 
very nice and smooth. It's a really neat highway. But okay, so let's just say instead you want to talk about recreation. All right, you have right here Joe Pool Lake. So depending on where you're coming from, could be as much as a 30 minute drive to Joe Pool Lake. And why is that when it's so close? Well, if you look closely here on the Mansfield map, you're gonna see that there's no east-west highways here, right? So you're gonna to have to go through, in order to get to Joe Pool Lake, you're just gonna to have to go through regular streets, stop and go, stop and go. So a bit of a trek, but you know, of course, if you're over here, it's plenty close, right? Okay, so that kind of tells you a little bit about commute times. Uh, anyway, it gives you an idea there. How about some basic statistics? You guys interested in just some basic facts about Mansfield? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, Mansfield population. 75,000 right down here, okay? So 75,000 in terms of population. Uh, Arlington up here, 400,000. Grand Prairie closing in on 200,000. Uh, and so Mansfield's definitely its smaller counterpart here. Okay, how about what county? Yep. All right, how about what county? Well, it is in Tarrant County. The land area is 37 square miles growing at about a 2% rate per year. Um, and when we talked about Midlothian, which is down in this area, down in here, we talked about how it's exploding with a 6% growth. Arlington is up here growing at 0.18%. This one's right in the middle and it does have new construction and you know, new construction is always gonna encourage that growth. All right, since 2010, it's grown 34%. So it's growing at a pretty good clip. All right, population in 2010, 56,000. That's definitely grown quite a bit. All right, average household income, 117,000, okay? When we did our map tour and our vlog tours on Arlington, we saw that their average population was in the 80,000, between 80 and 90,000, right? So definitely a higher, uh, a more affluent area, 117,000 compared to Arlington. And we're gonna see that the housing prices are higher as well. Home ownership rate, 75%. Again, in Arlington, we saw a much lower home ownership rate, but that is not the case down here. So lots of neat signs of stability there. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's talk about niche.com because I think niche.com is important for a lot of people in getting an overall picture of a town. All right, so overall niche.com gave Mansfield an A. They gave the housing a B plus, public schools an A, Crime and safety, a B minus, and diversity, an A. So on the crime and safety, I always encourage my buyers to take a look at websites like Family Watchdog, because a lot of times you can see that crime is maybe clustered in certain areas and that there are other areas that are incredibly low crime. So when you see something like a B minus that you may not be completely thrilled with, it just means to do a little more research. Okay, so public schools though, very nice in Mansfield, some really high rated ones. In fact, let me go ahead and show you that. I wanna give you an idea, let me show you that. Okay, so speaking of schools, I wanna give you an idea of some of the highest rated schools in Mansfield. So let's go ahead and start with the elementary schools. Okay, so this right here, let's take a look. J.L. Bourne Elementary School scored a nine out of 10 according to greatschools.org. So J.L. Bourne is one to keep in mind. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Okay, also a nine out of 10, you have Annette Perry Elementary School. So two right there, giving you a nine out of 10. And then we have a 10 out of 10, highest scoring there, Elizabeth Smith Innovative Learning Academy. So you can see right there, elementary, nine out of 10, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10, just those three already. All right, let's take a look at the middle schools. All right, we have a nine out of 10 here with Jerry Knight STEM Academy, nine out of 10. Uh, let's see here now, we also have the Linda Job Middle School, okay, having a seven out of 10. So you have a nine out of 10 and a seven out of 10. And then we also have the Donnie, Danny Jones Middle School also scoring an eight out of 10. So middle schools, these are the higher ones, seven out of 10, eight out of 10, nine out of 10. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the high schools. Over here, scoring 10 out of 10 is Frontier High School. This is a fantastic school, very small, really low teacher to student ratio, so very enviable, definitely Frontier High School, 10 out of 10. And then over here we have 
Mansfield High School scoring a 7 out of 10. So you have more high schools than that, but again, these are the highest scoring ones. So definitely this one, the Frontier High School, very enviable, very nice school. Okay, but what about higher education, right? So the schools are pretty good, rated A, you've got some great 7, 8, 9, 10 out of 10s, but how about higher education? So let's take a look at that and see how close we are. Well, right here you have Tarrant County College, Southeast Campus, uh, really nice and close. Um, you also have, you also have another Tarrant County College, the South Campus, so for community college, You've got a couple choices. This one is closer, but still a couple different choices and each of these are gonna have like general classes as well as areas of focus. So community college, good access there. Uh, and then up here, we have the University of Texas at Arlington. Uh, and this is huge, it's massive. It's right across, Cooper Street is right in the middle of it. Um, and it has strong in the nursing degree, great business. Um, anyway, so those are your higher education options, a couple of community colleges, you know, and then your University of Texas in Arlington. And you know, those are just the closest ones. There are so many. Uh, if we wanted to talk up here, there's DeVry Institute of Technology in Irving, the University of Dallas. You know, if we wanted to explore along here, you would have Dallas Baptist University. So definitely plenty to choose from in way of higher education. Okay, so some good schools some good options for higher education nearby. How is the shopping in Mansfield? So let's talk about that. Okay, so obviously you've got some options. Way up here you have the Grand Prairie Premium Outlet. So Outlet Mall straight up here. Not bad at all, very nice and close. Uh, let's see what else. All right, over here you have the Arlington Highlands. This is a very nice mall, outdoor mall, ranks very highly, has been awarded many times. It's a nice balance of both shopping and lots of restaurant options. So definitely enviable as well. So the Arlington Highlands plus the Outlet Mall. Uh, you also have right within Mansfield the Heritage Plaza. And just kind of while we're on that issue, Mansfield does have plenty of retail. Okay, strip centers. It does not have a huge mall, gigantic, you know, like the Arlington Highlands, but really just for your average everyday shopping, you will find what you need in Mansfield. Okay, and then of course over here you have your Parks Mall in Arlington. Okay, so Parks Mall, Arlington Highlands, the Outlet Mall, your bigger shopping here, but again, right here within Mansfield, you're gonna find all the retail small stuff that you need, okay? So everything, you know, from a Kroger, uh, plenty of dining. So we'll get kind of dig into that here in just a minute and take a closer look. Okay, in terms of hospitals, are you gonna be able to get the medical care you need? Well, the answer is definitely yes. Okay, plenty of medical. Here is Methodist Mansfield Medical Center. Uh, let's see here, we also have right in here as well. We have the Baylor Scott and White Emergency Hospital. Let's see, we also, right here in Mansfield, we have the Texas Health Hospital in Mansfield. Uh, and we have up here, the Methodist Family Health Center in Mansfield also. So as you can see, if you are in the medical profession, this would be a great place to call home with plenty of opportunities for jobs just because there's so much in the way of medical centers and hospitals. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll in here for a minute and just take a closer look at Mansfield. Okay, all right, let's just get real close in here because here we have Mansfield, okay, a lot of the action in terms of dining and retail you are going to find on Broad Street, okay, right in here. And you can see Broad Street crosses both 287 and also, okay, so there's 287, and it also, you're gonna find that it crosses 360 as well. So, okay, there we are. So Broad Street is one major, it's probably a heavier, traffic road here, um, Broad Street, but it, like I said, it crosses both 287 and 360, and you're gonna find a lot of retail in here. Let's kind of zone in here and take a look. All right, so you can see all kinds of restaurants and stores all along Broad Street here. You have sushi. I, li I like this Hat Creek Burger Company because it shows you that you've got a pretty good 
a selection of like maybe what you might consider like mom and pop restaurants, not the chain so much, like you have your Whataburger here, but then you've got sushi, you've got burgers here. Uh, you can see all of these little dining options. You've got Chicken Express. Uh, let's see here now. You've also got your Kroger, and this is a very big shopping center here in Kroger, very nice. Um, as you scroll down here again, you can see that Methodist Mansfield Medical Center. Uh, you've also got a Chick-fil-A in here. You've got a Sonic, you've got a Chipotle, Jack in the Box, Raising Canes. So really, and here's your Chick-fil-A, your Faux Palace. So, you know, you've got your Starbucks. So Broad Street is where it's happening in terms of, there you got your juice bar, uh, McDonald's, Brunch House. Uh, so Broad Street is really your busier hub in terms of if you wanna to go to the store, if you wanna go out to eat, you're gonna find yourself on Broad Street, right? Quite a bit also of retail along in here. Okay, so that tells you a little bit about your dining, your retail shopping. You can see a lot of options. You have Academy here, Texas Roadhouse, so so many options. Uh, how about entertainment? Let's take a quick look at entertainment. Okay, right over here, you have the Apex Indoor Sports Center. And I can tell you, our family has spent hours here. It is one of the main places for indoor soccer. And we have definitely spent, um, both of our sons and my husband, lots and lots of indoor soccer here. So that's very big here. Okay, so great soccer options there. Uh, you can also see we have Hawaiian Falls right here. So Hawaiian Falls is a really neat water park. Uh, and let me kind of show you. So, you know, if you go up into Arlington, over here by Six Flags over Texas is Hurricane Harbor. Uh, and Hurricane Harbor, you can see this right here, Hurricane Harbor, very similar to Hawaiian Falls, but much bigger and much more populated. And so they kind of, very similar to the way Arlington is so much bigger than Mansfield, the Hurricane Harbor is very, very big. Uh, but but Hawaiian Falls is nice in its own right that it's kind of cozier, you know, and I think parents can kind of relax maybe a little bit more because it's not as big. It still has plenty to offer, but uh, just more comfortable, I guess, experience, whereas this one up here is massive, um, a little smaller, plenty to do still, um, but just, I guess, cozier is the best thing, best way I can think of to describe it. Okay, how about this one right here, Urban Air. Urban Air Trampoline Park is really neat. It's just this giant place of nothing but trampolines, including ones like on the wall that you can bounce off. Our kiddos have spent many hours <laughs> enjoying Urban Air Trampoline Park. Okay, so plenty in terms of entertainment. It has great schools, plenty of good shopping and dining. You're probably wondering right now, how about housing? So let's take a look at that. Okay, housing in Mansfield. The median sales price in the past 90 days for Mansfield, 415,000. Now, if you'll remember when we did the Arlington map tour, we were somewhere in the two to 300,000 range for median sales price there. So you can see, like I said, you know, the income is lower in Arlington and the median housing is lower and then in Mansfield higher on both counts. Okay, median price per square foot in the past 90 days, $168 a square foot. Uh, and again, the neat thing about Mansfield is that you have new construction. In Arlington, you're very hard pressed. If you're gonna compare the two, Arlington is mostly settled and you're gonna have a harder time finding new construction. But the cool thing is all along in this Southern area, Mansfield has new construction, Grand Prairie has new construction. Let's see if I can lift you up here in Midlothian. This whole strip right here, just absolutely bursting with new construction, right? So these areas in the center here, not so much. Down here, if you like the idea of new construction, these are your places right here. This is just a new construction playground. Okay, so that gives you kind of an idea of the median sales price per square foot. New construction areas, Bowers Ranch subdivision, which is east of 360 and south of 20. So let's see if we can find that. So we're south of 20 and east of 360. Okay, and there's our 360. So right in here, you're going to find the Bowers Ranch subdivision. So lots to offer there in Mansfield. The neat thing is that even though they have the new construction, they also have older homes as well because it's kind of built up gradually over the years. Anyway, so really neat area. I hope that was helpful in giving you kind of that bird's eye view that we talked about.
Anyway, so lots of information there on our map tour at that bird's eye view. Uh, if you're commuting anywhere up here, I think you would love Mansfield as a neat place with new construction, nice place to settle down. It's got access to some good highways, Texas 360 toll as well as 287. Not so much east-west, no east-west highways of particularly helpful. And remember though, if you're interested in new construction all along here, these areas have fantastic schools, Mansfield, South Grand Prairie, Midlothian, just can't say enough good about them. Great schools, really neat new construction. Anyway, I hope this information was helpful in giving you that bird's eye view of Mansfield. Mansfield has these great highways, 287 and 360. And again, so much wonderful new construction all along here, Mansfield, South Grand Prairie, and Midlothian, lots of neat new construction. So I hope that was helpful. If you'd like to get a little more information, sounds like a great reason to visit my YouTube channel and maybe watch a few more videos. Also, if there's a move in your future, you know, and you're considering any one of these many, many, many suburbs, definitely reach out to us. You can fill out our Let's Find Home questionnaire there. Uh, you'll find that in the description section. Uh, you're also welcome to give us a call, send us a text or an email, really any of those ways work. We'd love to help you in getting relocated here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me today and listen, have a great day.